Today we have a 70-year-old lady with a suspicious pigmented brown macule on the left cheek. One of our concerns is melanoma, and so what we'd like to do is remove this and send it for histology. Today we're going to do that using shave biopsy. To do a shave biopsy, we have some plain local anaesthetic, which we infiltrate into the area. The needle tip is placed just under the skin and a bleb is raised. Anesthetic superficial like this is painful but works densely and quickly and by bleeding that skin, placing it under tension and raising it, it makes the process of shave biopsy easier. The best biopsy technique for a lesion that is suspicious for melanoma is excision with 2mm margins. However, in this case, our suspicion of it being melanoma is low, and so we've opted for a shave biopsy. Now, keeping the skin taut between two fingers, we'll now proceed to remove the pigmented area. And we are making every effort to remove the entire pigmented area in one go. Being careful to have adequate depth, but not too much depth, as if it is a melanoma, we do not want to transect the deep margin, which will result in distortion of the Breslow thickness and prognosis. To stop the bleeding, we can either hyphrocate the area or in this case we're using a solution called dry claw which we then rub into the area to stop the bleeding. Shave biopsies are very, depend are very user dependent in terms of one has to be very careful to make sure you have adequate depth as to not transect the lesion, particularly if it is a melanoma. The other use for a shave biopsy is for removing lesions which appear benign.